Any bird that expects to keep flying has to take care of all of its 25,000 feathers. Wait, hold on. 25,000 feathers? You gotta be kidding me. Well, I've read that it can be as many as that. I don't know what the minimum or the average is, but however many feathers this little American goldfinch has, and that's quite a few thousand of them he's showing us, he has a daunting task, which he manages by spreading the job out in many short sessions throughout the day. Now, granted, it looks like they're pulling through chunks of feathers. I mean, we don't style our hair one strand at a time. In any case, it's not optional. All birds are compulsive about grooming because they have to be. Preening protects them from wet or cold weather, keeps them agile in flight, keeps their feathers healthy and rids them of parasites. So there are no personal slobs in the bird world. And you'll find them devoting time to it at the oddest moments. They twist around to get some oil from a gland near their tails and then coat the feathers with the oil to keep them pliable. If the birds were to neglect doing that, the feathers would become brittle and tend to break. Well-oiled plumage enables them to seek food in a snowstorm or rainstorm. And pulling the feather through its beak to spread the oil also lines up the barbs like the tines in a zipper. Try zipping up with one bent tine. Cattywampus barbs means cattywampus flight. Not good when a hawk's on your tail. One more advantage of pulling the plumage through the beak is that it gets rid of parasites. Mites and lice are no joke. Now that's a long list of what preening accomplishes, and there's one more item in the list. The bird needs air in its plumage to provide bits of space between the feathers so they won't turn into a matted lump. The preening adds air, but the bird also stretches and shakes itself to separate the feathers from each other. Stretching gives the flight feathers a chance to get properly lined up and fluffed up plumage protects the bird against cold and heat. Preening doesn't make them immortal, but it does pretty much everything short of that. And it's all considerably more trouble than flossing and taking a daily shower, and a lot more work than keeping your hairstyle. But then again, they get to fly.